I uh, thought I'd give a quick update. We are just off Salcombe um, and we are possibly one of the most furthest south boats within the race. Um, our reasoning behind this is that we anticipate a shutdown uh, coming in about 2 a.m. and it's going to fill in first from the southwest, so we want to be the first boat to catch that. Um, but we seem to be the only boat out here, so we'll uh, soon see if this pays off. Sailing between Portland and Start Point behind the Kite's Courier. We are about 200 metres away from them and we are catching them slowly. But it's going to be a long ride ahead of us. The shutdown is imminent. News in the Rolex Fastnet race is that the big trimorans, the Ultimes, have started to cross the finish line in Plymouth. Edmund de Rothschild just pipping was safe to take the overall line honours trophy. In the mono hulls, racing under IRC, Rambler 88 has gone round the Fastnet rock ahead of Scallywag. So those two will be fighting hard to the finish line to see who can take line honours in the mon mono hulk division. Looking where the British Keelboat Academy sailors are at the moment, Riff Raff have passed the Sillies and are now reaching towards the uh, Fastnet Rock across the Celtic Sea. They're just behind their rival Privateer but right beside Kuka 3 and just ahead of a couple of the other Cooks and 50s. So a real battle going on there. When we look back towards the Silly Isles we'll find Gallivanter. Gallivanter's just gone around the Silly Isles. They're a little bit behind their rival Coronimo uh, but they are starting to uh, eke out some distance against uh, the other Car 40, Hooligan who are about eight miles behind, just approaching the Sillies TSS. Right beside Hooligan right now, Sunrise are just coming in at the same point. They've lost a little bit of ground to uh, their main rival, Courier Recommende, but they are starting to make some of that back up again. So once they get into the reaching conditions, they should start to uh, hopefully win some of that deficit. Then as we look further back, just coming up to the Lizard, Jibe Talking, the J109, uh, right in amongst the pack at the moment. J109 spread north to south um, having come through the uh, nasty transition zone last night, early hours of this morning. So they're fighting really hard um, and hopefully we'll see some more uh, moving forward through the fleet for them over the next 24 hours. So in the next 24 hours what are we going to expect? Looks like we're going to have a fairly strong south southwesterly breeze and uh, that's going to start clocking right to the west southwest. It's going to build as the boats approach the fast net rock so they'll be expecting 20 to 25 knots pretty much on the beam there. Um, and then probably beam reaching as they start to come back. But the next 24 hours are certainly going to be wet, windy and pretty uncomfortable. So not a lot of sleep going on in the Rolex Fastnet race.